meteorologist Lainey Pope. Now, Lainey. Yes, we definitely have those storms that we are dealing with across the area. And yeah, severe thunderstorm warning that was out earlier for Surrey and Yadkin County. We did have those power outages, as you mentioned, mainly from wind as well as quite a bit of lightning and even some hail with the storms. We haven't seen that many storms. They've been right along this front that isn't moving a whole lot. And of course, the air mass is still incredibly juicy, so it doesn't take a whole lot to get a tremendous downpour. We've been seeing hail, though, with the storms today with that cold air up high in the atmosphere, especially over Wilkes, Surrey and Yadkin County. That's where we've gotten the reports of the hail. You look at North Wilkesboro earlier today and you're going to see just the tremendous downpour as the clouds rolled in late this afternoon and evening and even out there overnight. I expect we're going to have some clouds as well as a bit of fog across the area. Notice too, not only are we dealing with the hail, the tremendous lightning and that threat for wind from the storm earlier, but it dumped so much rain that there's a flood advisory that's left over there along I-77 and points to the east. Bull Creek, Fisher Creek, just a few of those creeks and streams they are coming out of their banks as they've seen easily one to two inches of rain. So that flood advisory is going to stay up until 1215 tonight. And you can see where we've had that heaviest rain there just east of I-77, two plus inches. And then even earlier this afternoon, some of the downpours over southern um, Allegheny County and into Wilkes County and in Wilkes County from that storm that took place around five, six o'clock today. We had a number of reports of hail. There was even one report of hail the size of half dollars and then other reports that we had some nickel and dime size hail. Also some trees that came down in and around the region as well. So in the cricket community, there was a tree down on 421 at exit 282. Also in Wilkesboro, there's the reports to the 911 center of some nickel and dime hail. And then we had a report in Wilkesboro of a tree down on Shea Lane in the northeastern side of town. Any of these storms they have that tremendous weight of the rain. That wind comes down very strongly and they could knock down some trees. So remember the safest place when these storms do develop is going to be on the lowest floor of your home away from windows until that storm has passed. Overnight, I don't anticipate that we're going to have much in the way of storms. There will likely be a little fog around very humid conditions with temperatures that will be close to 70 as we start. You know, today we got up to 91 degrees and that's going to make it nine days in the month of July that we've had 90 or hotter. It's still hot out there and humid. 82 Winston-Salem and Greensboro. Heat indexes are still running in the mid to upper 80s. Earlier today, they were in the mid to upper 90s for feels like temps. Dew points are still in the low 70s, so that air is still pretty miserable to be out in. I do think we'll get some improvements, but not until the weekend. So we've got high heat and high humidity in the forecast with highs expected to be in the low to mid 90s. Heat index values expected to perhaps reach close to 100. Perfect place to be? Well, maybe near some water, right? A lake or a pool. Tomorrow should be dry. It is going to be sunny and it's going to be hot with a light northeast breeze. The high of 93 tomorrow afternoon in the Piedmont. For the foothills, the numbers go from 60s in the morning to about 92 by late tomorrow afternoon. And our mountain forecast has us topping out at 86 for late tomorrow. Seven day forecast. The heat keeps coming on Thursday and then we should cool off a little bit by the weekend. If you're flying this